pour up. So we're gonna begin everything, right? By starting with arm circles, okay? And make sure you have your water ready too. Make sure you have that water ready. That's essential. Essential component is staying hydrated. You know, that's one of the most essential components of exercise. Let me just connect this up, get this speaker going. And the first part of the warm-up we're gonna do will be foot shuffles, okay? This is what I want everybody to do, right? We're looking straight ahead. Put your hands under your chin for me. Feet close, hip width. You start off hip width. Now we're gonna step out to the left, bring it back in, step out to the right. Keep doing that. Exhale, and see how I'm exhaling each time I step? That's all done with purpose because you wanna make sure you elevate your core temperature, have full control of your breathing, and just keep executing, keep stepping. Now, on my level ones, you might wanna stay around this pace, but we are gonna increase the pace a little bit, all right, progressively. So now, let's sidestep a little bit faster, just a little faster. If you're level two, you're a little bit faster, it looks like this. If you're level one, you still might be flat-footed, stepping side to side, but either way, just keep going, because lastly, we're gonna go as fast as we can. We're not there yet, though. Almost, almost, five, four, three, two. Now shuffle as fast as you can, bring it to the center. Level two will look like this. Level one might be somewhere right here. You know, find your happy medium, but just go as fast as you personally can. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Look straight ahead. Now let's go to frog legs, all right? Put your elbows in. Level one frog legs, you stay flat footed, lift up, open up and drop, hence the name frog legs. Level two, you bounce off your toes, all right? So pick your level and stick with it. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Five, five, four, level two stays here, four, level one, three, three, two, two, one, one. Now let's get some heel taps in. Opposite heel toward the opposite fingertip, right? So have your hands out and flick back. Exhale, each time you flick back. Yep. I'm gonna count off. And seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Now we're gonna go ahead and transition to get a soldier walk in. We're gonna soldier walk in place. All right, arms out straight. And let's lift up one foot at a time, okay? We're gonna go ahead and lift up one foot at a time. Level one looks more like this. Exhale each time. You lift up. Level two looks more like this. And you're still exhaling each time you lift up. So go as high as you can. We have 15 seconds left, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, all right. So now we're gonna put our elbows in and we're going to back kick one foot at a time, okay? So level one looks like this, okay? And level two looks like that. Here we go. Keep going, keep going. Here we go. Keep going. Seven, 10, nine, eight. Level two stays here. Level one looks like this. It's five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get some pendulum swings in. Just like a pendulum goes back and forth, your legs do the same thing. All right. So grab a chair, hold on to the wall. However you see fit to have your hand being supported, just make sure that leg is swinging. Go forward and begin. Here we go. Keep it up. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. All right. Look straight ahead. And let's get it. 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8. And you know, you level ones, you just might not swing as deep. Level two, you swing all the way, all the way. Level one might look more like this. You know, you just have to find your happy medium. It might be somewhere between right here. All right. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and go side to side. Just hold on to the wall, hold on to your chair, and begin. 13, 13 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let's switch up to the other side, okay? And begin. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, cool. Put that chair aside or whatever you held on to, take your hand off of it. I highly encourage you to get a sip of water in right now. <laughs> And whenever I say that, trust me, I advise you take advantage because when I say that, just know something's coming. <laughs> That's going to require a sweat to be pouring from your body. Okay. I'm going to kick this thing off with some jump squats. Not one set, but two sets. Sometimes we do one set, we transition. We're going to do it for 30 seconds. I'll demonstrate both sets, half level one, half level two. Jump squats, also known as takeoff squats, simply mean that you're gonna go ahead and squat and jump at the top or squat and stand on the tip of your toes. You pick the level that you're able to do. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, and begin. Either way, exhale on your way up, whether you're jumping like this, level two, or if you're doing level one, I'm going to demonstrate shortly. All right, level one, you're gonna do this, and you should have been doing this, level two, keep jumping. Either way, we have a good 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake your legs off, look forward. Now, before we do our next set, we're gonna lightly jog in place. All right, so level two, you can jog with your knees up higher. Level one, your jog will be more flat-footed, knees lower, you know? So just keep it like that. Either way, we have a good 15 seconds left. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Look straight ahead. And begin. Keep going. Level two, stay here. Level one, should've been doing this. Either way, we have 14, 13, 12, 11. Tanky fighting through, nine. Eight, do as many as you can. Seven. Six is about pushing yourself to max out throughout the time period that's presented. Four, three, two, and break. Nice. Now let's go straight to the ground, okay? We're going to go straight to the ground. And, well, ground or wall. Ground or wall. Because we're doing push-ups. And we're doing double tap push-ups. So... The push-ups look like this. If you're doing it on the wall, push-up, tap, tap. We're doing it for 30 seconds for two sets, all right? Push-up, that's when you get your core engaged. That's when you get your arms, your shoulders, chest, and all else engaged. That includes your upper body and a little bit of lower body action because you have to support yourself, right? So, wall, you all seen how it looks. It's like you're on the ground, but you're on the wall. You gotta do what you can. Those that are on the ground, your variation is gonna look like this. Push up, tap, tap, or push up. This is more level one on the ground, okay? So level one on the ground looks like this. You're on your knees. Level two on the ground, you're on your toes. Then you see the wall level as well, okay? Which is a separate level all within itself. Either way, we're gonna start off. And I wanna show all those levels in five, four, three, two, one. First set, let's get it. Push up. Go deep. 
And if you're not able to go this deep, that means you should be on your knees. If you're not able to go this deep on your toes, you should do these on your knees until you progressively get strong enough to do so. All right, keep going. Now I'm showing it at level one on the ground. Yeah, keep it up. Keep digging, keep digging. Almost. We got our last 10 seconds now. I'll show that on the wall. Everybody keep doing what you're doing, whichever variation you want. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and tap, tap, break. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to run that back. We're definitely going to run that back. So grab your sip of water, loosen your arms up. You can roll your shoulders back. You can roll them forward a few times. Do what you feel, shake your arms off, you know. Just do what you feel. Just know your next set of push-ups is coming in 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. I'll start off on the wall this time. Let's get it. Bang, tap, tap. Let's get it. Tap, tap. Keep it up. Tap, tap. There we go. Tap, tap. There you go. Tap, tap. Keep going. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. All right. Keep it up. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yep. Final 10 seconds. There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one. Let's get it. Bang, bang. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You know? You got to feel like it, you know, it's something small to a giant. You got to feel like a giant out here. You can conquer anything. You know what they say, elephants don't have conversations with ants. You got to think big, dream big, and move big. We all elephants out here. We don't look like elephants, <laughs> but we got to think that big. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. So now we're going to go ahead and get our next set of exercise in. I need you to get an aerobic step ready or just go to your staircase. I'm going to show level one and level two. And look, I think I'm going to include some boxing today. I think I'm going to include some boxing today. You know, we all like that boxing. I mean, dedicated rounds of boxing. You see, sometimes I have hints of it. I think we're going to include some boxing. How about six dedicated rounds of boxing for us today? We're going to get into it in a little bit. But for right now, go near a staircase, or if you have an aerobic step, pull it out. Just give me a simple up, up, down, down, leading with your left foot, all right? Level one looks like this, left, right, left, right. Left up first, left down first, all right? Level one looks like that. And of course, level two, how would you differentiate that? Just go faster. Boom, boom. All right, so pick your level and stick with it. Clock started. We're going for one minute strong. So level two, stay here. Back, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Throw that breathing, go straight ahead. All right, you want to stay here. I'm going to switch to level one in a little bit. When we have 30 seconds left, I'll switch to level one. And if you are level one, just go slower and step on the step a little bit firmer, you know? So you got to make sure your whole foot is on there. Level two, you can get away with, like, part of your foot being on the step. So that way you get that speed. You accelerate. Boom. Bang, bang, boom. Bang, bang, boom, boom. Bang. Keep going. All right, y'all. We have a good 30 seconds left. So I'll show my level one should have been doing. Keep going. Pace yourself, keep digging through, that's it. 20 seconds left, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and quick break. Next set, we're gonna do a right foot lead, okay? So for now, you can step side to side. Look, even if you're level two, if you feel like you can bounce side to side, bounce side to side. Move however you wanna move. Just know our next set is coming up in 15, 
14. We're leading with our right foot this time. Right foot first. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and begin. Down, down. Here we go. Down, down. Down, down. Keep it up, keep it up. Here you go. I'm just starting off at level one this time and ending off at level two, doing the opposite of what I did before. Still moving, still putting y'all on game, let y'all know how to move. So again, my level one should be staying here. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, 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 yeah. On my level one, that's where you're staying at. Boom. Keep going, keep going. Yep, keep digging through. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 keep going, keep going. Yeah. All right, on my level two, that's what you should have been doing. That means we have 30 seconds left. You never see me switch up. Keep it up. Here we go. Here we go. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and quick break. You can get your step out the way. Now, we're going to pull out our jump rope, our imaginary rope. And look, if you have a real jump rope, feel free to grab it. You don't have to demonstrate for those who might not have a jump rope. So my situation is a little bit different. But in the event you have a jump rope, by all means, Grab it. Grab it and use it. So we're going to look forward. And we're going to jump rope. One minute straight, okay? Look straight ahead. And begin. Yep. Roll those wrists. Keep going. Now, with this jump roping segment today, keep a couple things in mind. Level two, you stay on your toes. Level one, you stay flat-footed. All right, level one, you stay flat footed. So keep going, keep going. Yep, keep moving, keep moving. Keep it up, keep it up. Level one, stay here, flat footed. Level two, you on your toes. Here you go, keep going, keep going. Good, good. Now you can swipe side to side, freestyle. That's the other component I want you to keep in mind. Freestyle and do what you want. So remember, different elements of jump roping include this, side swiping, Going regular or crossing. I want you to uniquely mix it up and do what you want. Like, watch this. Watch me double swipe and double cross. You could do a double cross, four swipe, three, four, whatever you want to do. That's what all I'm trying to say. So, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to mix it up, do what I want. Here we go. It's crazy. Time and consistency can get you right. The reason why this looks so natural <laughs> to me. Is because I've learned how to actually do this with the jump rope. You know, if I had a jump rope in here right now, I'll show you all. But some of you all follow me on social media. You see how I get down with that rope sometimes. But it's uncover you. It's about y'all right now. So just keep moving. Swipe, swipe, boom. Keep it up, keep it up. Here you go. And let's go for 15 more seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Toss that rope to the side. Grab your water. Let's get some dedicated rounds of boxing here. Dedicated rounds of boxing. We have a good six rounds, okay? Six rounds of boxing. So I'm going to set this boxing timer up. That gives you time to grab more water. That gives you time to check your phone. Whatever you have to do right now, you're here for the workout. You know you're going to get that. But I know life occurs. So I'm giving y'all time to set certain things up. Some of y'all have to grab a mat. Some of y'all have to grab other things to get ready. All right? So we're going to start our boxing round officially in 20 seconds, okay? I'm giving everybody 20 seconds to get ready and prepare for it. If you feel like you're ready right now, all you got to do is bounce side to side. Bounce side to side in place. All right? And we're going to start our boxing round. Officially, our first one in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
Three, two, and hands up. You wanna hear that bell go down? Let's start with a nice solid. Let's start with a nice solid uppercut. We usually start with the one, two. We're gonna start with uppercuts today. Put your elbows in and let's start with a good five, six. Let's do that again. In your boxing position, left and front, right behind. Sha, sha. Again, sha, sha. again, five, six. Again, five, six. Two more times. Five, six. Last time. Five, six. Now let's mix it up a little bit. Let's do a one, two, five, six, okay? Because usually we kick it off with the one, two. So let's add the element we usually kick it off with. And one, two, five, six. Again, one, two, five, six. Again, one, two, five, six. Again, again, one, two, five, six. Again, one, two, five, six. Here we go. One, two, five, six. Two more times. One, two, five, six. Last time. One, two, five, six. Now we're going to do a one, two, five, six, three, four. Look straight and begin. One, two, five, six, three, four. One, two, five, six, three, four. Here we go. One, two, five, six, three, four. Here we go. One, two, five, six, three, four. Here we go. One, two, five, six, three, four. Here we go again. One, two, five, six, three, four. Two more times. One, two, five, six, three, four. Now have your hands up. Let's get some footwork in because the next round we're going to incorporate some more footwork, okay? Here we go. So put your elbows in. Let's move backwards, leading with our right foot. Go back. Boom. Now go forward. Go back. Throw a one, two. One, two. Go forward. Throw a three, four. Three, four. Go back. Here we go. Throw a one, two, go forward. Throw a three, four, go back. Yeah. One, two, go forward. Here we go. Three, four. Okay, now have your hands up. Let's practice, let's practice that pivot, okay? Let's practice that pivot. Put your elbows in. Now we're gonna pivot off the ball of our front foot. So your elbows are in, you're looking forward, and twist off. Then go back in. See what I did there? Elbows in, twist off, then go back in. Yep, two more times. Boom, go back in. One more time. Boom, come back in. All right, so now let's pivot to our right. Let's finish off the round like that. Swing off the front of your foot, but now you're going towards your right. So that back leg gets swung towards your right. Elbows in and boom. You come back in. Two more times. Boom. Come back in. One more time. Woo. Come back in. And one, two. Bang. Great. We're going to get a lot of stepping. In fact, I'm going to have us do this, right? We're going to one, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. All right, we're going to uppercut like that. We're going to do two steps. Two step uppercut, two step uppercut, two step uppercut. All right, so we're going to kick it off with that. All right, we're going to kick everything off with that. Okay, we're going to start our boxing round soon. We're going to start in 20 seconds 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now, round two. One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. Back up. Matter of fact, let me get something to help us with our rhythm a little bit. Let's get it. Elbows in. One, two, left. One, two, right. Let's get it. And one, two, right, one, two, left, one, two, right, one, two, left, one, two, right, one, two, left, one, two, right. Back up. Let's get it again. One, two, left, one, two, right, one, two, left, one, two, right, one, two, left, one, two, right. Back up. Let's do it again. Let's get it. One, two, left. One, two, right. 
One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. Back up. Come on. Let's get it. And let's do it again. One more time. Y'all ready? And one, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. Now back up. Let's get it. Now face me. Let's throw a one, two, three. 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 Switch up. Three, three, two. Three, three, two. Three, three, two. Three, three, two. One, two, three. 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 One more time. Let's do three, three, two. 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 And straight shots. Keep punching. Punch nonstop. Keep going. All straight shots. Speed shots. Keep punching. Keep punching. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And bounce back and forth for the boxing stance, okay? Bounce on your toes. Bounce on your toes. Keep going. Keep going. Hold that for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And now let's finish off the round doing various combinations. Let's do a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the left uppercut, okay? That's what the five is. One, two, three, four, five. Jab, right cross, left hook, right hook. Left uppercut. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do a one, two, three, four, five, two. You got it? One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, two. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, two. Great. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. All right. Our next round coming up. Round three. Round three, round three. We're starting that in 37 seconds. And after this, we have three more rounds. All right, and three more rounds. So you ready for that? This round, I want to show us how to pivot and shuffle. So we're still moving. And look, if you feel good in between these rounds, feel free to jog in place. You can spend your rest how you want. You can rest. You can move a little bit. You can practice and shadow box before the real official round comes up. You know, move how you want to move. But it's up to you. Either way, when that bell goes off, no time. Three. All right. Hands up. And look forward. Shuffle those hands a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and pivot switch. So we're going to pivot. Then we're going to switch like this and walk. All right. And even faster, it looks like this. If I go as fast as I could, boom, boom, bang. You shuffle when you walk. You pivot, boom, boom, bang. All right, but this is how it looks in slow motion, just to help us remind, just to give us a reminder, right? Just to remind you each time you do it. All I'm doing, I'm pivoting, then I am bringing my right foot forward, then my left foot forward, and I walk. So by the time I bring my left foot forward again, I start walking. Let me show you again. I pivot, right foot, left foot walk. All right, remember that. Pivot, right foot, left foot walk. Go at your own pace. Level one might look more like this. Pivot and boom, boom. All right, level one might look more like that. Keep it like that. Keep it true to the fundamentals. Level two, go faster and switch just like I'm switching. So do what you can. Elbows in and pivot, switch, boom. And walk up. Let's do it again. Pivot, switch. Yep. Let's do it again. Pivot, switch. Here we go. Yep. Keep going. Pivot, switch. Yep. Keep moving, keep moving. Pivot, switch. There you go. Good, good, good. So let's do it three more times. Pivot, switch. There you go. Let's do it two more times. Pivot, switch. Yep, let's do it one more time. And pivot, switch. There you go. Now, let's throw a one, one, two. But let's move to the side we do it. Let's move to our left we throw a one, one, two. Let's throw a four, four, three we move to our right. Just follow me, I got you. And begin. One, one, two. 
All right. Then we're gonna throw four, four, three. All right. One, one, two, and four, four, three. Keep it up. One, one, two, and four, four, three. One, one, two, and four, four, three. Five more times on each side. One, one, two, and four, four, three. Four more times on each side. One, one, two, and four, four, three. Three more times on each side. One, one, two, four, four, three. Two more times on each side. One, one, two, and four, four, three. All right, one more time on each side. One, one, two, and four, four, three. Now, let's duck and hook, duck and hook. Duck to the left, left hook. Duck to the right, right hook. Duck to the left, left hook. Duck to the right, right hook. Duck to the left, left hook. Duck to the right, right hook. Now speed hook, speed hook. Step and twist, step and twist and break. Round four coming up. 49 seconds left. So for now, right, for round four, we're going to go ahead and incorporate a good mix up of some offense and some defense. A lot of defense, though. Round five is going to be more 50 50. This round is going to be more 70 30 in favor of defensive movements. All right. So I'm going to have you prepare for round four and rock side to side or bounce on your toes side to side. Level one is more flat footed. Level two is more on your toes. Yeah, keep it up. Cool. Round four. All right, let's get some defense in. Like I said, 70% defense, 30% offense for this round. Let's get some slips in. Elbows in. Slip, slip just means if somebody throws a one, two, you're slipping out the way of it. So the way you do that, you turn your shoulder in, turn your shoulder in. Boom. See, the hands are just like, that's craftiness. It really just looks like this. Boom, 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 boom. But when I add my hands, it adds even more. I don't even want to say facade. It just adds an extra touch to it because it's still helping. It's still helping you stay elusive. So it's not just a facade. So you have your elbows in, hands up. And watch this. When I slip, look. See, when I slip to my right, my right hand is up. When I slip to my left, my left hand is up. Even if my hands are already up, my right hand is more exaggerated than up when I slip to my left and vice versa. So you slip, 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 slip. Turn the shoulders in. Wow, 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 wow. All right, turn in. Turn the left in, turn the right in. And see how your head naturally gets out the way? Look how my head's getting out of the way. That's not because I'm really even moving my head. I'm really moving my shoulders. I'm honestly keeping my head in the same position, but moving my shoulders. See what happens? Let's do it five more times. Five, five more, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Now, let's go ahead and dip. See, I showed you all how to duck earlier. You all know how to duck. You've been following along with me for a while. Let's dip. A dip is when you have your hands up, you dip back. So it looks like this. Dip. Dip. That's it. Dip. Let's do five more. Dip. Dip. There we go. Dip. Now I'm going to show you how that's effective. You can do a pull counter, meaning when someone throws a shot at you, you dip back. See how my back knee is bent? You come back. Bang. You throw a right hand to your own. So let's dip a shot and throw a right hand, okay? So dip back, and as soon as you're ready to come forward, bang, start throwing your shot. So have your hands up, dip, bang. Hands up, dip, bang. Hands up, dip, bang. Let's do it three more times. Hands up, dip, bang. Two more times. Dip, bang. Last time. Dip, bang. Now, let's go ahead and add some more defense to that. We're going to dip, bang, then duck. <laughs> dip, bang, duck. <laughs> That's an interesting way to word it, but that's what we're doing. Okay, so we're looking forward. Hands up, elbows in. You're gonna dip, bang, then duck to your left. Okay? So you dip, throw a right cross and duck. Dip, right cross, duck. Dip, right cross, duck. Let's do it two more times. Dip, right cross, duck. One more time. And dip, right cross, duck. Now, 
Let's go ahead and duck the rest of the round. Okay, let's duck side to side. Keep your abs tight. Be your abs being worked. And break. Round five coming up. Round five coming up. Then round six is your round. So now round five is half and half. I'm going to have it put together where as though we do half defense and half offense. I mean, not literally split in half, like a minute and a half of each. We're going to go back and forth between the two. So it's a good mix up. You see how that last round was pretty much all defense? We threw one punch. Well, yeah, one punch. Everything else is defense. Yep. 25 seconds left. Round five, round five. 19 seconds left until we begin round five. 15 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right. Put your elbows in. Look forward, shuffle those hands. We're gonna slip, duck, one, two, pivot. All right? So, slip whatever direction you wanna slip, duck, one, two, pivot. Let's do it again. Slip, duck, one, two, pivot. Let's do it three more times. Slip, duck, one, two, pivot. Let's do it two more times. Slip, duck, one, two, pivot. Last time. And slip, duck, one, two, pivot. Bang. Now, let's go ahead and throw a one, duck, three, four. So we're going to duck to our left. One, duck, three, four. Again, one, duck, three, four. Again, one, duck, three, four. Two more times. One, duck, three, four. One more time. One, duck, three, four. Let's do a one, duck, three, four, duck, five, six. Woo. Okay, you ready? It's gonna, it feels like a lot, but it's not really a lot. Okay, let's get it. One, duck, three, four. Then you're gonna duck again and throw a five, six. So we have to duck to our right the second time. All right? One, duck, three, four. Then you duck, five, six. Let's do it again. One, duck, three, four. Then you duck, five, six. Ooh, let's do it five more times. All right? One, duck, three, four, duck, Five, see y'all, let's get it. Stay nice with them hands. Let's get it. One, duck, three, four, duck, five, six. Let's eat. One, duck, three, four, duck, five, six. There we go. One, duck, three, four, duck, five, six. Let's do it two more times. One, duck, three, four, duck, five, six. Let's do it one more time. One, duck, three, four, Duck, five, six. Now, let's go ahead and move around. Let's pivot and let's shuffle. Let's do that pivot shuffle, that pivot switch, okay? And then after that, we're going to throw a five, six, five, six, all right? So our hands up. You're going to duck, pivot, switch, boom. Then five, six, five, six, all right? Getting fancy with that footwork, okay? And begin. So you're going to duck. Pivot, switch, five, six, five, six. Let's do it again. Duck, pivot, switch, and five, six, five, six. Let's do it till the round's over. We're gonna get this good. We're gonna get nice with this. All right? So duck, pivot, switch, boom. Five, six, five, six. Let's do it a couple more times. And duck, pivot, switch, boom. Five, six, five, six. One more time, one more time. And duck, pivot, switch, boom. Five, six, five, six, bang. Next round is your round. Freestyle. I'm gonna have you do what you want. Let your hands go the way you want. You do what you want this round. This round is your round, okay? This round is your round. It's your round, you're gonna let your hands go the way you want to, all right? And for the last few seconds of the round, we're all gonna meet together and do something in sync. We're all going to be doing the same type of punches. But until the very, very end of the round, I want you to do your own thing. All right? 13 seconds left till we start the round.
shadow box and do what you want. That's what I'm going to be doing. And that's what I encourage you to do. And hands up. Mix it up the way you want. Mix it up the way you want to. Let your hands go. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Let them hands go. Stay sharp. Mix it up the way you want to. You see how I'm staying crafty and elusive? You know, sometimes you might not even punch. Sometimes you might just boom. Then the switch. Do what you want. Sometimes you might just move around. You might sneak one in. You might switch your hands up. Bow. Bow. Do what you want. As long as you're working up a sweat and getting it done. Yeah. We're going to all meet up at uppercut roll in a little bit, OK? Keep going. Ha, 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 ha. Mix it up the way you want to. Come on. Let them hands go. Boom, boom. Just keep mixing it up. We're going to meet up in a little bit. Stay ready for it. Come on. Almost. All right, face me. Three, two, one, uppercut roll, uppercut roll, let's get it. Keep going, keep digging, keep going, do it, keep going, keep going, come on. 11 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Go to that bell, goes there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. come on, come on, come on. Yeah. That's a fact, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we're gonna to transition to some other exercises. We're gonna get some dedicated core work there. Yeah, it'll be another one down, another one down. Okay, so now, this is the moment we're gonna to switch to core work. We're gonna go ahead and make that transition. I'm gonna have us go on the ground and you're gonna hold on to something the bottom of your couch or whatever you can get a grip on. Your hands are gonna be gripping on to whatever you're holding on to. And your legs are gonna be free and loose to do what they please, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do three different exercises. Leg raises, flutter kicks, and scissor kicks. Again, leg raises, flutter kicks, and scissor kicks. And all of them have a level one variation, all right? So hold on to what you're gonna hold on to, okay? Leg raises look like this. On my level one, just lift up as high as you can and take as much of a gap as you need, your heels can touch the ground. On level one, you're gonna lift both your feet up and let your heels touch the ground. You're not gonna go up too high. Go up high as you can. It could be right here. Just go up as high as you can. On my level twos, your heels never touch the ground. You go up and back, boom, up and back, all right? So pick your level and start now, yeah? Level two, you do this. Level one, you do another method. 30 seconds every day. 24 seconds left. 
I'm actually going to switch to level one in a little bit just to show them and remind them. Come on. All right, level two, stay there. Level one, you should have been doing this. Yeah. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, break. Same thing coming up in 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, and let's get it. Starting at level 2 again and finish off at level 1. Here you go. Keep going, keep going. Yep. 15 seconds left, so I'm switching to level 1 now. Please take your time with level one and lift up when you can. Plan your lift. Think about it. Tighten your core and lift. And make sure you tighten your abs when you do it. Tighten your stomach when you lift your level one. It makes a difference. It gives your legs that boost. And it works the abs even more. Five, four, three, two, three. All right. Next up, we have flutter kicks, okay? So flutter kicks work in a very similar fashion. Except you're alternating which leg lifts up. Okay, it's one leg at a time. Level two, both legs stay floating above ground level and you flutter up and down. Level one, one foot at a time. Pick your level and we're gonna start in 15, 14, 13. I'll start off at level one and end off at level two this time. I'll switch it up a little bit as far as the demonstration method goes. Seven, six, five. Four, level two, stay above ground. Level one, you should be doing this. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Here you go. 13 seconds left, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. Same thing coming up. Same thing coming up, all right? This time I'll start off demonstrating with level 1. I mean, excuse me, I'll start off demonstrating with level 2 and end off with level 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Next set. Keep going. Here we go. Here we go. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. All right. So now I'm going to have you go ahead and do scissor leg kick. Scissor kicks, level one and level two. I'm going to show you how to differentiate. Okay. So, on my level twos, legs stay above ground level. Cross in, exhale, open up, cross in again. Then when I cross, remember, your right's on top. Then when you cross again, after you open up, your left's on top. Keep doing that. Level one, just alternate one leg on top of the other. Right, over the top. Left, over the top. Right, either way, it's going to target your lower abdominal muscles. Your entire abdominal region, really, but your lower abs get touched in a more targeted manner when you do it this way, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and start that set in five, four, three, two. I'll start off at level two, end off at level one. Let's get it. Mm. 
right. Here we go. 12 seconds left. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Break. Now, we have 15 left before we start our next set. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's eat. See, I'm starting off at level one this time. I'm going to end off at level two. But, you know, pick your level and stick with it. Yeah, keep going, keep going. 15 seconds left, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and break. There you go. All right. So now, we're gonna go ahead and make that transition. We're gonna make that transition and we're gonna stretch. So we can grab our chairs. You know, I always end off my stretches at level one. Level two, just mimic this motion on the ground. For example, if you're level two, when you go down and you stretch, you can sit on the ground and press your ankle up against your knee like this. But I'm gonna finish off level one style for you stretch. Okay, so we're looking straight ahead. I'm gonna hold this on 30 seconds per side. Hold this for 30 seconds per side. Yep. Twenty-three seconds left. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch up. Hold this for 30 seconds. Here we go. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna put your heel on the ground, toe to the ceiling, and you can touch your knee, shin, or your toe. Okay. Hold that for a good 20 seconds. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, switch up. Okay, let's get it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So now you're gonna have your knees forward. Let's get a torso twist in. Knees and feet remain forward. Then turn to the side of your choice and hold that out for a good 30 seconds. Seventeen seconds left. Two, 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. All right, center. Other side. Yep. Nineteen seconds left. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So now we're gonna stand up. And we're gonna put both hands on the wall, okay? We're gonna bend our front knee and extend our back leg. So hands on the wall, bend the front knee, extend the back leg. And hold this for a good 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch up. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Here we go, switch up. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch up. And hold that for a good ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now you're going to stand up tall and put your toe up on the wall, heel on the ground, lock and hold for a good 30 seconds. We're doing a calf stretch now. And make sure your toe is in that dorsiflex position, meaning your heel is on the ground and your toe is up. See how I have my toe up against the wall? You want to have it like up against the wall completely. Heel down, you know. And switch sides, same thing on the other side. See, toe is up like this, heel on the ground. Apply that light pressure. Yeah. After this, we have a couple more stretches, literally two. And then after that, we're gonna wrap it up. And that's another one down. Yeah. All right. Now you wanna look forward. Elbow bent, arm straight. And you're gonna press back. You're gonna take your lead left arm, you're gonna press back and get your right arm. I hold that for a good 20 seconds. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch up. And we have one more stretch. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feet together, cross your arms and hold that up. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. All right, do you go? Give yourselves a hand to show them up. I appreciate you for following through, and I'll see you all.